Hello, everyone. Welcome to this review of the part two of lesson six. 你的个子真高 You are really tall. Okay. Now let's look at some pictures and compare the two people in the picture. Look at this picture. 谁的个子高？谁的个子高 ？You remember the character 谁 means who, right? 谁的个子高 ？Can you answer it? 他的个子高，他的个子高。Now you imagine the other guy would say, 你的个子真高，你的个子真高。You're really tall. Okay. Now this picture. The question is, 谁的头发长？谁的头发长 ？Please answer. 他的头发长。Good. 他的头发长 Now, what would the other person say? Right. 你的头发真长你的头发真长 Okay. The next picture. Oh, two little monsters. The question is, 谁的眼睛大谁的眼睛大他的眼睛大 ，to get it right， 他的眼睛大。So let's complete this sentence. 你的眼睛真大，你的眼睛真大。This one， 谁的个子高？谁的个子高？他的个子高。So the little monster probably would say, 你的个子真高 Now another question, 谁的手长？谁的手长 Yes,、yeah, still this guy, right? 他的手长 So this time, what would the little monster say? Yes, 你的手真长。你的手真长 ，very good. Now let's have a little challenge. Remember a word that we used to learn. 谁高兴？谁高兴 ？Who is happy? Yeah, 高兴 stands for happy. Obviously, 他高兴，他高兴 And how do we say he's he's very happy? Yes. 他很高兴，他很高兴。What about the other guy? 他不高兴，他不高兴。Wonderful. Now let's try to write some characters. These are four characters in this lesson. They are 大 big 大小 small 小长 Long, 长 and 手 hand, 手 Okay, this is how you write these characters following the strokes. Remember that when you are writing Chinese characters, you have to follow the correct strokes. Otherwise, you're actually writing it, them in the wrong way. All right, writing is great. You can pause the video. You you can come back um in this part to watch any character that you want to learn. But what's even better is to type, right? As long as you know the pinyin, you can type everything you have learned. Okay, that's all for today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.